Hey guys, it's Renee, and today we're decorating an old sweater. You're gonna be needing an old sweater or something that you don't care of, like painting over it. I just had an old sweater that happened to be orange, but doesn't have to be orange, could be any sweater that you have. So I'm just going to be making first the stencils, and for that I need a piece of paper. I'm working with the Sharpie, I'm drawing first triangles for the eyes. So I'm just gonna be cutting the uh, triangles, and I'm going to be cutting three. Two for the eyes and one for the nose. Now for the mouth, I'm going to be drawing two lines like this, like a moon, sort of. And then I'm just going to be adding those like squares, like random squares, adding three of them. And I'm just going to be cutting that. Then I'm going to be using this piece of cardboard and I'm going to trace those uh, triangles that I just cut it. You can start off by tracing the uh, triangles right here so you don't have to waste a piece of paper. That's just what worked for me. I just took a nail polish, marked a circle and just cut it that. And I'm just going to be taping that to the triangle that I just cut it. So those are my stencils. I have two eyes, one nose and the mouth and I'm just going to be putting them wherever I want my pumpkin space to be and to prevent my stencils from moving I just save them with some painter's tape then here comes the fun part I'm going to be using some black fabric paint and I'm just going to sponge the paint over my stencils I didn't want it to be like too perfect, too pigmented and I also placed a plastic bag in between the top part of my sweater and the bottom part so first I did the eyes once I was done I just removed the stencils and it's pretty cool to see how everything looks it worked in parts here I don't know why but first I did the eyes then the um, nose and then the mouth and this is pretty much ready to go but yeah guys this is a simple idea that i wanted to share with you now this one is from last year but i couldn't share it on time i actually wore it last year on like the night of halloween to just walk my dogs but i feel like i'm going to be wearing this this year as well it's really easy those black parts that this sweater has are like uh, mistakes that i did while i was uh, working with the stencils it's a pretty simple way to make a sweater festive and not overwhelming i really hope you like this one if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff halloween related stuff all throughout this month and share it so yeah i really hope you like it thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later bye guys